Hi everyone, welcome to our channel ECS ABC. In today's video, we are going to discuss the phases and passes of compiler. Let's discuss. Before discussing further, I would like to tell you that what exactly the compiler means here. Compiler is a software that takes the source program as an input and convert into the our target program. If there is any error in the source program, then it shows an error message. Phases and the passes of compiler. Phases is the steps that were used during the compilation process. While the passes are the number of times the compiler goes through the source code before converting it into the target machine code. In case of phases, we having a mainly six phases. While in case of passes, we could have a single pass compiler, we could have two pass compiler, we could have three pass compiler, we could have multi pass compiler. Let's discuss it in more detail. Just look here. Is a passes of compiler. Here is our source code. The source code will going to pass to the lexical analysis. This is our phase one. What exactly the lexical analysis is going to do? It's going to scan our source program, and after scanning the code, the code, it will going to produce some tokens. These token will going to pass to the syntax analysis. Syntax analysis it going to match us with the grammar, and after matching with the grammar, it will going to create a pass tree. And this pass tree will going to pass to the Semantic analysis and the code generator. Semantic analysis will going to verify that whether the code is produces a valid pass tree or not. And after verifying the tree, the code generator will going to generate the code. And this is our the phase three. And in the case of uh, then it again pass to the optimizer. And optimizer will going to optimize the code. So what exactly happening here? The whatever the output came from the one stage. It going to the process, and after processing the whatever the output come, it go pass to the next stage. But in case of the passes, what exactly happen? That consider it's a single pass compiler. So here is the source program get directly converted into the target program. When we are talking about the two pass compiler, what exactly happen is that the source program firstly converted into the intermediate code and this intermediate code will going to convert into the target program in case of multiple pass compiler what is actually happen that this is our source program it will firstly convert it into the intermediate code and this intermediate code is converted into the another intermediate code and this another intermediate code will finally will going to convert into the our target machine code so what exactly happens is that here in case of Phases. What exactly happened? That the, whatever the output came from the one stage, it going to process and pass to the next stage. But the, in case of passes, the generation of the intermediate code occurred and they pass to the next compiler. And this compiler will going to convert into the uh, target code. So there are the so many m multiple intermediate code generation occur in case of multi pass compiler. What uh, in case of the Phases of compiler, the whatever the output goes, it pass to the next stage. So there are so many stages, but you can consider it as a, it is a compiler, individual compiler. Let's discuss the difference between the single pass and the multi pass compiler. So single pass compiler, in terms of speed, is quite better. But when we are talking about the modularity, memory, and flexibility. The multi-pass compiler is quite better. In case of optimization, single-pass compiler cannot optimize the source code more. Multi-pass compiler having as much ability that it can optimize the code. In case of single-pass compiler, it is not possible that a single-pass single compiler will going to compile your, uh, you can say, a, uh, just process. In multiple multiple source code, whether it's in consider that if our source code is available in C and another source code is available in Java, so single compiler in case of single pass compiler is not possible that a same compiler will going to compile the source code of C and the source code of Java. 
but in case of multipurpose compiler there is possibility that we can create a compiler which is going to compile the multiple languages source code whether it's in c java dotnet and kind of the source code has happened i hope you understand the topic if you have any query then you may can comment below i hope you like the video if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe our channel to support and encourage us thank you